That is the sound of not a tray, but the sound of a component on a car. So, Phil gave me back the door the other night, and you've seen the video on that. And there was this little bit which he was hesitant to weld up again. I have JB welded that on, and I'll leave it for a few more days till that JB weld goes more rock hard than it is already. But I JB welded that crack right in with a, I left the clamp on it overnight. Didn't pop back up. So I will sand that off. You can sand this off gently. Put a skimmer bog over it. Shake this up and it should be good. I've also found we put some um, seam sealer adhesive all in this area here and I squashed it in and left the um, a couple of anvils that I had and a few hammers just to keep it down and that stuck as well so this door's ready to go I've had a look I've knocked some of the corrosion off here so I'll knock all this off and I'll continue that plan soon as well I'm going to spray the bottom of this I'm sick of the side of this bloody thing I tell you we're going to spray the inside of this this week. Spray this, put the gal on, put the braces on, all that done. Flip it up the other way. The sides are pretty much done, bar a couple of little, little, you know, stuff like that, which I'll fill up with putty. Look, um, it has got probably the maximum allocation of bog. This stuff is so hard to hand to panel beat compared to steel. It's very hard to get it straight. But yeah, we did the best we could. The fronts are really good. The fronts are on both sides. They're really, really good. Obviously, you've got your rivet hole. I mean, your spot weld holes, which you've got to leave. Otherwise, you'll get lynched. So, you get away with that. That's pretty good. The other side... The other side was worse, but somehow I, I got it better. Just this corner was really manky. I managed to get that back. As I said, there's just a bit more shaping to do. I'll 2K undercoat this this week. I'll drill all the holes out. I think I accidentally covered the, the hole for the um, reflector. I'll get that out. These are dead flat. These come up good. And bit more sanding turn it over that's this week's project then I'll um, show you the inside we'll put these braces on and we plan to finish that and finish this all up this week plan for today is to spray paint just the bottom of this no one sees this anyway I'm just gonna spray paint it blow it over with the green and we're gonna refit the bracing these braces on I fix them up, I put the rubbers back on. Uh, these I used neoprene and just riveted it on. It's worked well. You can just get this at, you know, like a, in a roll. I've got it at Bunnings. You just, uh, and you rivet them as they were from the factory. The other rubber's a little bit hard to get. It's either really thick or really thin. This, believe it or not, is almost identical size, thickness. It's a little bit wider that'll work well so that today's plan is to give this a spray we're not going to obviously make this a mirror finish but we will make it green i've straightened these areas up that's the bit you see under here it's not too bad so we'll, we'll give that all a spray while we're at it the door i've undercoated the door as well and fixed that up it's come up not too bad um We'll need another sand and filler. Just gave it a quick coat. I'll give it a guide coat later. I'll give it a good sand and we may put some colour on it. There's just a few little dints showed up, so I put some touch up putty on them. But the rest, that's actually come up all right. These were really hard to get our way around, but that's going to be okay. But yeah, so the door's done. So if we could spray that today, 
and spray this. I gave also the coat, this is not going to be the proper primer for this. I'm going to use this as a guide coat. I'll be sanding all this off anyway. And we'll put the 2K down. That'll be next week's job. So during the week, I'm hoping during the week to spray paint the 2K one night after work. The 2K. Sand it probably Thursday, setting ourselves up for Saturday to finish the tub. Then once the tub's finished, we're going to start putting this thing back together. Now we've, um, look, the bottom of this is not the straightest, as we know. We just didn't have the time, effort to change the floor, which is a bit of a shame. But who knows, we might get around to it one day. So the top of this has now got one coat on it. I gave just a coat. That'll do. Just the bits that you see. They've had four coats on it. They've come up quite glossy. So that's all done. We, we won't do the sides yet. The only thing I did do, just to test, I'll sand it all off just with a bit of leftover paint. So I did do the back. I gave the back a few coats and I don't know if you can see, but that's come up magnificent. So I'm quite confident that when we get around, that paint's already dry. And that's straight off the gun too. So I'm quite happy with that. So then you can see my own reflection in it. But, as I said, that'll be a good base coat, I suppose we'll call it. We'll sand that back. Just wanted to see how it would look. Got the lights on it as well. So all said, it should turn out pretty good from the outside. Then we've got to tackle that monstrosity once we finish. There's a lot of work in there. There is a shitload of work in there. But yeah, we'll get to it. Um, so yeah, top's done. That's flashed off, that's already dry. So, look, it's okay. It's had about four coats on it. We'll put the beams across on it, maybe even tonight. Just before, while I've got the gun set up, I've finished this. Gave that another coat of undercoat. And again, I'll give this a light sand and give it a coat of top coat. Well, I'll probably give it four coats from this side. I find it's easier to do it flat than hanging it. I tried to hang it yesterday, so what I'll do is I'll, I'll hang it, I'll make it go hard. I mean, I'll do it flat, I'll make it go hard, then I'll do the back in a couple of days' time. That's already sanded and ready to go, but every time I hang it, I find the, the air moves it, and you get a pretty shit paint job. But anyway, for a backyard job, we're getting there. A couple of hours later, I've laid these out, ready to go on. Paint's dry. Look, it's come up all right. As I said, I would have really have loved to have changed the floor, but we're doing a budget rebuild. It is just a massive, massive, massive job to change the floor. Then it goes onto the side, and before you know it, you're building a new thing. We'll just put a bit of a bit of a rubber mat down but anyway so I've set these up now this is another vital part off as I said I, I did them pretty much as close as I could to the original the originals look like that so there you go all done um, these ones here you don't do from the top you do from the bottom so when I flip it over I'll I'll get them should be alright. I'm thinking about putting one in and then drilling it out. I don't know yet. I don't know, because it is sitting away a bit. But um, I think it'll be alright. They pull in quite hard. They're all touching now. They're all reinforced. Rubber's on. I'll put those cross braces on. And I'm sick to the side of the back of these things. Well, I'm sure I'm going to get lynched for this. But anyway, I am having all the trouble in the world even attempting to get this tub to look half decent for paint. The sides are pretty good and the back's pretty good and that's okay too. But the seats and the floor especially are just disgusting. So I came to a pass. What I'm gonna do is, this is just a test to see how it turns out. I'm gonna stick aluminium plate 
onto it with panel adhesive and uh, be done with it. The seat goes on top anyway. It'll be stuck down. There's two bolts that will go, go here to help hold it. There's a rivet that goes there. I'm sure an extra couple of rivets down the end, no one will mind. It'll actually look quite smart. And the floor, well, that's gonna look sensational when it's done. I think that looks way better than that monstrosity. So yeah, look, I may have to put a small angle to cover this, possibly. I will try what it looks like with the panel adhesive, then maybe, I don't know, I'm not even going to bother it. I'll just put a small angle on it. By the time the seats go on it, you won't even tell. But look at that. What a difference that makes. We're just uh, we've cleaned the tub with prep sole. We've blown it out, prep sold up this one as well, and we're going to be using this Sikaflex product. About forty-eight bucks a tube. We got two of them, so we're certainly not being tight. We're using the right stuff, so hopefully it all works out. It's going to look good though. I know that. Yep, and this is that way. We're going to flip it that way. Alrighty, let's give this a go. Go in the front first. Let's get you in a bit closer. So I've got all of those in. These little rivets here are temporary. We've actually got the gal um, angle that goes across there, but I just want to hold it in place while the glue dries. I think it's about a three hour dry time. So in the meantime, we'll uh, do the sides and we'll do the top of the seats. And, uh, We'll be back in just a moment to tell you how we went. It's the next day, and uh, look, even I'm willing to admit, and I was very sceptical whether or not this would be a good idea, it does look pretty bloody good. Really bloody good. So now, order of business today, undercoat, leave it, Come back tomorrow, acrylic, under acrylic undercoat, come back the day after, paint, come back the day after, bit more paint. No, no more paint. Oh, no, no, one day of paint, you're right. So, yeah, I'm not sure how much of it will film, but we will certainly have an end result on this video very shortly.
There we go. Paint shop in the burbs. Who says you need a paint booth? High pressure now. It's a beautiful hot day in Melbourne today. Perfect for painting. And uh, surprise, surprise, more sanding. But we're just cleaning up now. And it's time to put this final coat on. A little bit stressful, I'm not going to lie. It's the biggest part of the car. We really, really want to get this right. Three quarters of the car. <laughs> it is three quarters of the car. Anywho, you'll know before I do. Let's see how this goes. Hopefully it goes well. It's always hard to tell when it's fresh, but we feel like. I'm not going to say we've done a good job, but we certainly haven't effed it up. So this tub is not going to get moved. It's Wednesday. We're not going to touch it for Thursday or Friday. And then we're actually going to whack it on the car on the Saturday. So give it a good time to harden, cure, go off, whatever the paint terms are. We're not painters. But, um, yeah, great success. It is finally go time. I've just uh, spent a little time taking all the dust and stuff off the chassis. One last time. We're just doing some final adjustments with the handbrake because that's going to be quite difficult to get to in a minute because the next job is putting that on for the last time. And I'll tell you what, I'm not sure how this shows up in video. We've polished these two back panels. We haven't touched the sides yet, they're still a bit dusty. But in a natural light, we've got a couple of very, very happy boys. Very happy boys. Good day. Let's get at it. Alright, here we go. The tub is going on one way or another. Hopefully we don't drop it. Let's see how we go. We have a fully bolted on tub. That is the sound of not a tray, but the sound of a component on a car. And it makes me very, very happy. I've even whacked in the brackets for the seat belts slash supports. We also fought extremely hard with the uh, filler tube thingy. We had to actually get the inline die grinder and give ourselves some more room. And uh, hot tip, a one litre Pepsi Max bottle. 
makes a very good dust cover while you're working. We are now whacking the sills in, the door sills. Um, and we just measured them and after bolting everything together, miracle of miracles, it looks like everything is lining up perfectly. It looks like we've got the 34 and a half inches on both sides. So we're just checking for square and we're That's about to get a door. Let me, let me, um, no, we've got to, we've got to set up this square first, measure it all. Yep. Tighten it all up, then put the door on and check it. All right. Let me go get a good screen. Very, very exciting. It's like 11.30 at night, and uh, I feel like we ain't going to bed until there's two doors on this car. Possibly even a seat bloody box as well. We'll see how we go. All right, door time. This will probably be a time lapse because we'll be a lot of um, effing about. So we'll see how we go. We've already got one hinge on. We're just working on the bottom hinge now. Alright, we got news. So it's obviously the next morning. We uh, decided to go to bed because we started yelling at our own shadows. And we started fresh today. And we have got the door lined up beautifully. What we ended up having to do is actually re-jiggering the holes at the front here. It needed to duck down a little bit, but... Um, I don't know if that's showing up, but she's looking fantastic. She won't focus. That's okay. So it's not put to bed yet, that particular door, but it's given us a confidence. We had to actually, oh, the other thing too, is we had to give the bulkhead a little bit of that action. But now we have to go to the other side, fix that sill or at the front, and then we've got to take the bolts out and actually put the seat box in. Because the seat box is part of the bolts that actually go into the um, door sills as well. So that's our next job. Alrighty, seat box time. Let's get this in. Almost too easy. Oh, that's alright. Oh, I just kicked away your bolts too. It's going well. <laughs> right. You might have noticed we have. It's <laughs> very sensitive about the dust at the moment. We've got two doors. We have a seat box fully bolted in. And it just worked. I mean, yes, there was a lot of swearing. There was a lot of swearing last night. A lot of swearing, but we we it's sort of it's like going to school. This second door, oh, without a word of a lie, twenty minutes. That door, eh, three four hours. But hey, very happy boys. Very happy boys. Um, I reckon. We're going to leave the video here for this episode. Um, I'm about to go away for a week, and Adolfo has got a whole bunch, well, a floor, you know, bits of rubber, stuff like that, the gal for the tray, and all that good stuff. So um, thanks very much for watching, guys, and we will definitely catch you very soon. Bye.